Well, we're still working on, on the rails. Almost done. I got my uh, little box of goodies from uh, <laughs> Ducksworks this week. Got my Orlock sockets. You've got a brand new kind now with a nylon insert. I was kind of, uh, I, was, I stuck my brass horns in there to see and I was like, whoa, it wouldn't fit. So then, but I realized that I had to take some, some emery cloth and, and sand down the surface of where the the barrel of the uh, horn goes or the you know the rod goes through this thing so it should be a lot quieter rowing then I also got my uh, my step handles in to put on the transom you can see the texture now so they go like this mounted on the transom so if you fall out you'll be able to come and hang on and then they got a little bit of a grip up in here you can you know hopefully get a foot up and then uh, get yourself back in the boat again. I usually put these in all my boats that uh, prams and, and the fly fishing boats just for safety sake. And then I got my uh, my U bolt for the uh, painter bow painter yesterday. So we got uh, things to take care of us. Going to drill in the uh, the sides for the uh, rails. But first off, we're going to go down here and uh, work on the. Uh, Orlock socket. Uh, it a lot of times I've had to, you know, the the old ones were a little bit bigger than a three quarter inch uh, bit that I got, and uh, so I was having to open up the hole a little bit more with a, uh, a rasp. But I found that this is the cap off my three quarter uh, um, drill bit, and it pops on the end. Hopefully, I don't know how much taper. Oops, get out here. How much taper this has. It looks like it's straight sided, but we'll know. I may have to ream out the hole a little bit, but right now I've got a piece of backing scrap wood in here clamped in behind so when I come down that I don't uh, go through and rip out the wood on the other side. And I just realized, <laughs> you, you idiot. Coming into one of my rail screws here on the outside edge. Okay, where it goes through the plywood here. Nothing through the rail, but through the inside edge. And what's it doing to my? Well, I got the hole through. I had a little when I was using my rasp here. I didn't. I took my plastic end piece off and I put a couple scratches on the inside finish. But I'll be able to fair that out. And by the time it gets done painting, you won't know. So I got out a. a Something round, I think it's like a half inch, yeah. 7 16 socket with some sandpaper rolled around it. Fine tuned it, so now I got it in here. Okay, this side here has a little more of an arch to it, so I'll stick it to the outside and I'll put a piece of tape on it so we know that that's outside. I'll get it centered up. And we'll break out our, our centering drill. Now I got to go to the hardware store and get some uh, number ten by probably uh, three quarter. two horns in, or this Orlock socket, and try out the horns in them, so now I can take them out and put them away until I get ready for the uh, putting all of the uh, hardware on. I've already gone along and figured out where I want my screws to go, and then I've set my gauge in for my heights that I need, so now it's time to go ahead and uh, drill them. I got... Uh, Single screws are fairly long, I think inch and three quarters. So they'll, this one here will go through three blocks, and the next one will go in almost into the plywood, and then this one will go through the plywood and the inner rail on this uh, set right here. So, try and keep sight down the, the drill bit and make sure you keep it. Uh, 
level. checked in behind or underneath where I uh, had marked where my screws are on the uh, transom underneath the rail here so that gives me plenty of uh, depth there put a mark eight inches up above the uh, transom here on both sides and came in with my level on my marks. And just put a little line about eight inches long, just long enough for the uh, line the stair step or the step handle up on. It'll be centered underneath the gaps on the transom. The handles here, where are we at? Measure six and three eighths, so that'd be about three and three sixteenths to the center line. So I got my center marked here. I'll just line up that three and three sixteenths on my level line here, and then mark the end, and then six and three eighths. So that came out right. Put the top of the step on your line, the baseline, and you just use your pencil in the holes. Remember, this isn't rocket science. Do the same thing on the other one. Now that I got my holes drilled in here, we'll, or marked, I'll and I've got the backing blocks made already to go on the inside. Been a few days since I've been out in the barn. We've had some nice weather. You can tell by you know how I'm dressed that it's uh, spring and starting to arrive in the Seattle area. I know uh, this uh, probably starting the day in the next three or four days. The East Coast is going to get buried with another snowstorm again. But it was sunny and 60 today, and it's been sunny the last couple of days. But they were talking about snow this weekend. But one of the things I, I try to have, which I've told you before, is I'll have some of these, uh, my clamp pieces, you know, just the, the little single pieces cut out. And when I had uh, wetted out the corners, uh, you know, when we were doing before I put the fillets in the corners, I had some leftover epoxy. So I always have some of these things laying around in order to uh, make some up. And so I had enough epoxy left over, I could make uh, another a full clamp. So I've got to get some more hardware. I think I've got about uh, five or six more clamps I can make up when I go there. But, as you can see, I've been busy making cardboard templates again. Uh, I've got, uh, in the picture here, yeah, we got one, two, three. Uh, and you can see I've got uh, a hatch made up. Uh, or not a hatch, but a, a forward compartment. I'm still debating on that one. If I go with a forward compartment, uh, it will be, it won't be a seat, it'll be more of a storage, maybe put your anchor lines in your anchor, I, I'm assuming you're going to use a little anchor, and if I do that I'm going to have to get another six inch hatch, uh, I may do that locally or, you know, get one from Chuck, I don't know, I've got a four inch hatch that uh, I may put in there, but I may do without the, uh, the forward compartment altogether just to save weight and time, I'm still debating on that. Uh, if I do put in the forward compartment, this one will not be here, and these other two I will probably, I may move them back. These are basically to uh, stiffen up this joint right here to keep from racking this way when you're rowing along. And it does a pretty good job on that. Plus on the bottom when we flip it over there will be two longitudinal uh, stiffeners uh, running fore and aft 
it'll have to be added on too. So, well, I'm debating, let me reset up and explain some stuff to you. Explain some stuff. One of the things I wanted to do, whether or not I put in this forward compartment or not, uh, was before uh, I've got, I've got a, uh, a little uh, cardboard mock-up of a uh, little Scotty anchor system. And some of the times I've, on some boats, I put them on, not necessarily for me, I've added the blocks for others, but uh, because of the angle, the, the, the little Scotty always kind of like hangs over the nose and one guy built a, uh, that lives nearby, had a, built a Flycaster, the nine foot version, and he made up this little bracket on the outside. Well, I'm either going to, if I don't have this, I'm going to have a, a bulwark, kind of like one of these things on the sides, but with a plate on it, because what I want to do with this, I know you may say why, um, I don't know how many, I, since I'm not a fly fishing guy and I don't uh, you know, go fishing, um, I'd rather be sailing, but you know, if you want to fish, I don't know how many of you would rather, when you, you if you leave your little Scotties with that bracket that screws in, you know, the removal, I don't know if you leave them on all the time, or if you twist them off and, and put the anchor in the, the little Scotty thing in a bag and, you know, do that. What I was wanting to do on this one is I'm going to put a hole in here and I'll back it up on the outside with a nice, you know, shaped uh, stiffener to support the hole. But I want to stick this through and the screws on, and I want to get the one that doesn't have the, uh, the little uh, fitting on the bottom. I want to get the one that's basically just, you know, you screw it to a railing system. And I want to stick that through, and it looks like it'll extend probably about that much. My hand will be, say, the forward bulkhead here. And it'll stick out about that much. And so you've got quite a bit of overhang there when the anchor comes up. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, banging on the on the hull, and I may put a, a plate around there. You know, the, the plate I put on the front, I may make it wider and deeper as a uh, an impact plate for the anchor, and I might taper it, make it look pretty. But I like that idea of leaving it in there because that and then it gives you kind of a handle, and it's out of the way, and then I can uh, mount it permanently to either the uh, top part of the forward compartment or to a little bracket that I'll make um, and set that in there. The aft one, uh, I don't know if I will do that or not. Uh, I may, I may put a little bracket back there with a hole through it or I may just add a block for somebody that wants to put on one of the traditional ones. I don't know. I mean, uh, once I get this in the water uh, for a test and some videos and some photos for the plans, uh, it's up for sale. So. Anybody that wants a nice little custom-built nymph, uh, it'll be ready for sale when uh, I'm at the lake. So let me uh, do some more. I want to do some uh, cardboard mock-up on the center seat now because I've got to order my special little thingy for it uh, next week in order to have it ready to start in. So uh, let me, um, we'll stop this and we'll go into, this may be rambling enough to end this, uh, this series. Uh, I've still got uh, I got all my screw holes drilled. Uh, I've got uh, some more uh, uh, finish sanding on this, and then I can stain them, and then some more. It's kind of like down to the point where uh, there's not a whole lot of any one thing going on. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, I've got my blocks in, backing blocks for my uh, uh, U-bolt, stainless U-bolt on the bow, and that's already drilled. And then I've got two backing, have you seen already, I've got the backing blocks, uh, epoxy gel magic onto the inside of the hull, and they're in place. And um, so let me work on the uh, center seat.